Hi guys, I'm Shandor, welcome to my cinema. Today I'm watching the 1962 thriller Whatever Happened to Baby Jane starring Betty Davis. I watched All About Eve not so long ago on this channel and Betty Davis just absolutely blew my mind. So even though I know nothing about this movie, I'm just thinking it's a thriller with Betty Davis. Sounds like a freaking winner to me. So let's not waste any more time. Here comes Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Three, two, one. 1917. Want to see it again, little girl? <laughs> Holy crap, that is creepy. Like, creepy. Baby Jane Hudson. Betty, would you mind taking off your hat? Oh, so she's a dancer. I will a letter to Daddy. She can sing too. Oh, folks, have you ever seen such a lovely doll? <laughs> Looks like Annabelle. <laughs> kind of creepy. Jane. She has That's a phone. Leave me alone, I need an ice cream! Child of mine, everybody oh. like that. Ah. People are like, if a child of mine would ever act like that. I want you to try to be kinder to Jane and your father than they are to you now. Hey, are they sisters? I won't forget. You bet I won't forget. Oh. Foreshadowing? Mm -hmm. 1935. Okay, so is this Jane as an adult, or how is this relevant? We'll see. What do you think, Ben? What's thinking got to do with it, huh? Hmm. She stinks, doesn't ah. she? When the old man hired them Hudson sisters, how come he had to hire the back end of the act? Hudson sisters. Boy, what a no-talent broad that baby Jane is. Oh. Why can't she stay sober? Oh, and she's drinking. Only let us out of that clause in our contract which says that we have to make a picture with Baby Jane for every picture that we make with Blanche. Then Baby Jane's contract won't be any problem. Okay, so they are sisters. And now it's Blanche who's apparently keeping herself more intact. Biggest thing in movies today. She can write her own ticket. She's got script approval. She's got more money than she knows what to do with. Oh yeah, so Blanche is successful. Remind me to send you one of those Baby Jane dolls for Christmas. <laughs> I've got mine for this. Ah. <laughs> okay, so basically Blanche's mom was right, right? One day you'll get all the attention. Turn out to be true. Sudden change of feel. Someone's gonna get run over. Maybe. Yup. I'm intrigued. Betty Davis, John Crawford. Wow, huge names. Yesterday. All my troubles seemed so far away. <laughs> Sorry. As a matter of fact, dear, I think Blanche Hudson's just a few years older than I am. Really? Yes, dear, really. Well, how can we never see her around? We've been living next door to them for six months now. Oh, next door neighbor. The only one I ever see is that fat sister slouching around. Fat sister? She said that she was supposed to be responsible for the accident that crippled her sister Blanche. What? Well, that all happened a very long time ago, dear. Blanche got into an accident? So was the accident, you know, with the opening credits, Blanche's accident? Oh, dear, please try to understand. I married you because I was not silly, and it was a refuge. Oh, he should have held that shot longer. I told him that when we were rehearsing also when we ah, shot it. She's in a wheelchair. Whoa. Him and I. Okay, makeup department. <laughs> Good job. Betty Davis? Seriously? She looks like she died and came back to life. Jane, what are you doing? I was... Huh? I was watching. Then you're an idiot. I won't have you speak to me like that. Poor baby. Poor baby. Quiet down. 
So she's still drinking like crazy, huh? You miserable. Ah! You can hear that over the uh, bell. I love the way she carries herself, you know, like. You can tell just by her every move that she's just had enough of everything, you know? Just that nosy Mrs. Bates going on about your picture last night. Oh, really? Did she like it? Oh, really? Did she like it? Mm. She liked mm. it. The longest night. Marty McDonald said it was the best thing I ever did. They never even released it in the United States. Oh, she's bitter. They were too busy giving a big build-up to that crap you were turning out. I'll clean the cage. <laughs> Great framing. Hey, what the heck? How are you today? Fine. Oh, you've seen Jane. Uh-huh. Did you speak to that Dr. Shelby about Miss Jane, like you said? No, I haven't yet. It's uh, rather difficult. I think she seems much better lately. That's she? None of my business. They're from that television station that's been running your old movies, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, Jane is, you know, jealous. Bitter. You, you, you mean Jane? Of course. Why would she do a thing like this? You know what makes her do things like this. The last month she's been getting a lot worse. I'm pretty sure she caused the accident, if right? If you don't believe me, then why are you selling this house and planning to move out? I just think she's jealous because of those old movies of yours they're showing on television this Absolutely. Week. I was cleaning the cage. The bird got out. It flew out the window. Did you let that bird out on purpose, Miss Jane? Yeah. I just told you I was cleaning the cage. And... Hello, this is Johnson's. I want to order some liquor. It's Jane Hudson. What do you mean you can't fill any more orders for me? Oh. My sister did. Whoa. Wait a minute, I'll I'll put her on. <laughs> well, she's an extra set girl. Hello. <laughs> she's awesome. Who is this, please? Oh yes, Mr. Carson. Yes, this is Blanche Hudson. What seems to be the trouble? She's so good. I certainly didn't mean to suggest that you shouldn't fill any orders for her. Yes, fine. Would you please? She's a freaking genius. Okay, then. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'd like to order six bottles of scotch and three bottles of gin. That's a lot. Uh-oh. She's buying something. I wouldn't be surprised if she killed Elvira during the movie. We'll see. But she is definitely not stable. Wow. Dear Daddy, we miss you. So this is psychological. The postman says that's best to do. Saying I love you. Yeah, this is very disorienting and uncomfortable in the best possible way. Betty Davis is a genius. That's, I mean, she's a genius. What a frame. Now, when I'm very good and do as I am told, I'm Mama's little angel and Papa says I'm good as gold. Now, I wish that you would tell me Cause I'm much too young to oh, know. The lighting, her facial expressions. She's mesmerizing. Oh. Letter either. He let her and never called you on the phone, telling you to sell the house. You called him four weeks ago and told him to sell. It. Whoa, she knows. Don't you think I know everything that goes on in this house? And spying on me. <laughs> What do you think? What are you planning to do with me when you've sold the house? What do you have in mind? Some nice little place where they could look after me? Yeah, 
very much. Better not tie yourself out using the phone anymore. If there are any calls, I'll take them downstairs. Meet your lunch, it'll get cold. Yeah, she is a very despicable human being, and I love every minute of it. Oh. Oh! Yeah, this is dark. I love it. There's the phone. Good luck getting downstairs. Yeah. That sucks. I called this morning and placed an ad. Did we give you a reference number? Oh, yeah. See, that's an eight-line ad. That'll be six dollars and thirty cents. Please. Under no circumstances let my sister see the contents of this note. Yeah, I wonder how this is gonna go. Please. Hey, suspense. There's some nice suspense in this movie. I'm pretty sure it's gonna escalate. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more. You saved yourself the trouble. Oh, but it's no trouble at all. I've just been cutting some. That's why I came over. I guess if my sister needed flowers, we could afford to buy them. Oh, she didn't throw the paper in the trash. So she is going to see that note. That's gonna suck. For Blanche. Yep. I feel like someone's gonna die in this movie. When she's reading it. What's the matter, Mother? You look as though you've been in a fight. I'm not sure that I haven't been. Yeah. Jane Hudson makes me so mad I could kill her. Whoa. Yeah, this is a thriller, all right? There's tension and suspense. Bucket load. Jane, I didn't want you to be worried about the house. Even if I do have to sell it, we'll still be together. No. Daddy bought this house. He bought it for me. Did he? I bought this house for the two of us. When I signed my first contract. Okay. You don't think I remember anything, do you? You aren't ever gonna sell this house. And you aren't ever gonna leave it. Either. That's a threat. Right there. Do you remember when I first came back after the accident? You promised you wouldn't ever talk about that again. I know I did. But I'm still in this chair. And I'm intrigued. You wouldn't be able to do these awful things to me if I weren't still in this chair. Well, her face. Yeah, we could get hold of that nice Dr. Shelby, couldn't we? What's his number again? Uh-oh. And under no circumstances, tell my sister the contents of this note. It's not me that needs a Dr. Blanche. Yeah, things are getting worse and worse. This is incredible. Seriously, this movie is incredible. And both leads are doing amazing, you know? Both of them are just absolutely fantastic. I wonder if the food is poison. She does too. Established law requires the companies to work on songs and dance numbers for nightclubs, personal appearances, etc. Must be experienced and versatile musician called Miss Jane Hudson. Okay. Established star. Delusions. Yeah, this is Jane Hudson. Yeah. Oh, about the ad. Uh, this is Mr. Flagg's secretary. Oh, his secretary. <laughs> I think you'll find he's very well qualified. Well, sure, I'd be glad to give Mr. Flagg an appointment. But you forgot my breakfast. 
I didn't forget your breakfast. I didn't bring your breakfast. Yeah. When I was on the stage, you had to depend on me for everything. Even the food you ate came from me. Wow. Why? Doing what? Making me afraid to eat. Trying to make me starve myself. If you starve, you die. I don't know what you're talking about. You really must be sick. Manipulation. Jane, I thought you were supposed to be the big girl in this family. Nothing wrong with it. Please, no. You didn't eat your didn't dip, so you'll have to wait till lunchtime. Oh, Jane, please. Don't do this to me. Jane! Jane, please! Yeah, this is brutal. You're know, like, this is brutal, in a way. Well, what I mean is, does Miss Blanche know about my taking the day off? Oh, sure, she knows. All right, if you say so. See you next Tuesday, then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have a good time. Bye. Yeah, she must know that something's up. You know, the black and white aesthetic really, really suits this movie, I think. It adds so much to the atmosphere of this movie, really. They could have easily made this in color, you know. I don't know if this was for budgetary reasons or was this on purpose, but I'm I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to say this was on purpose, filming this in black and white. It works so well. Oh, Blanche. You know we got rats in the cellar? Mm. Oh, did she make some red burger or something? Like in Demolition Man? Anybody seen Demolition Man? Of course. Of course you have. Let's see what's on the plate. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, she's a total psycho. She's so good, like, so good. This is amazing, you know? She's slowly going crazy because of her psychotic sister. This is incredible. I have an appointment with a Miss Hudson for four o'clock. I'm Jane Hudson, come in. Yeah, this guy seems so awkward. This whole thing is. I wonder if you can guess who I am. Nope. Nobody knows who you are anymore. I'm baby Jane Hudson. Does he know anything about her? Oh. No. Do you mean you're really the baby Jane Hudson? And I'm going to revive my act exactly as I used to do it. Of course, some of the arrangements will have to be brought up to date. Music changes so much, doesn't it? And you know, they're desperate for new acts. Television, Las Vegas, and, and all the clubs. And, well, there are a lot of people who remember me. Lots of them. Are there? I don't see how you could fail. Hmm. I do. <laughs> Spoil everything. Don't. I got a friend down there, someone who's come to see me. He doesn't even know you exist. And you don't like that, do you? You're oh. wrong, Jane. I've always wanted you to have friends. That's what I've always wanted, really. Oh, sure. I, I was just hoping maybe maybe I could meet him and, and we could have a nice talk. Just the three of us. Then you could tell him a whole lot of lies about me. Scare him off. Or, or maybe have him for yourself. Oh. You know, it's sort of this classic victim mentality, you know. Nothing is my fault. Everything is other people's fault. I've written a letter to Daddy. His address is heaven above. She can sing. Nice. Looks amazing. A letter to daddy. His address is heaven above. Just a slight bit out of tune at the tail end. Love you. 
She had a great voice. Come on. Seriously. This is tragic. Like, you know, just her facial expression and everything. There's something really tragic about this, you know? Which is the whole point, but... Yeah. And her makeup helps, like, a lot. I promised my... Delia, I'd be home for supper. Ah, oh, well, I'll, I'll drive you home then. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, I know everything is going to go just marvelously. Oh, oh. I don't think so. I, I, I have to go up and change. I won't be a minute. <laughs> has been practicing her signature. Yep, that's concerning. You know, I just can't wait to get started in our rehearsals. We're going to be a great team, the two of us. Oh, I'm sure we are. Yep, there's the phone. How her face changed from desperation to anger, you know? Just overall throughout this movie, you know, she was such a gentle soul, you know, and now I see determination and anger and uh, bitterness in her. <coughs> it's actually a very brave thing to do. How's she gonna get back? Again. Some good suspense. Oh, James home. No, it's about my sister. I need your help. I need you here. Here at the house. It's the way she's behaving. Oh, the look on her face. You've got to come over right away. Please, before she comes back. So late. I don't quite understand. Is this some kind of emotional disturbance you're talking about? Yes. Yes, she's emotionally disturbed. Are you trying to tell me that she's violent? Yes. Yes, she is. Frame. This is going to get dark pretty soon, I think. She heard the door. <laughs> Suspense. Tension. I love it. We aren't getting anywhere like this. I'll come over right away. And I know what you're trying to do. But, uh, I'm not trying to do anything. Honestly, Jane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No. Blanche Hudson again. Could Blanche. I speak to the doctor? Oh, I'm so glad I caught you in time. Dr. Shelby, we're not going to need you after all. Oh, she's... <laughs> Jane has gone to another doctor. Another doctor? Yes, another doctor. <laughs> well, after all, we, we really can't interfere, can we, if, if Jane's chosen to go to another doctor? Patty Davis... Seriously. <sighs> Cold. Cold-blooded. You know, normally I would be really, you know... Normally I would care for Blanche's character, but I'm just so mesmerized by Betty Davis that I just want her to win, you know? <laughs> I know she's the bad one, but come on, she's so good. We're not going to be needing you anymore. But I don't understand. We're closing up the house. Blanche wants to take a smaller place at the beach. The doctor thinks that's best for us, so that's what we're going to do. I'm sorry, I don't have the keys. I must have left them at home. Anyway, go. You're fired. Mm. Oh, she stayed. Yeah, she knows that something is up. Yep. 
Wires are cut. If that sister of yours has gone and given you sleeping tablets just to keep you quiet while she's out doing I don't know what, I'm sure as hell gonna call the police on her. It's all right, Miss Blanche. Again. Tension and suspense. I told you you were fine. Never mind all that. I want to know what's going on around here. So now you can tell me what you mean by locking Miss Blanche in her room. You open that door and stop all this nonsense. No. No. She, she, she's asleep. I, I gave her a pill. I'm not afraid of you. Miss oh, you sure have put... I'm not going to fool with you. If you won't give me that key, I'll go right down and call the police. You sure have put a hammer down. Look on her face. This is so good. Miss Blanche, I'll get you down from here. I know, Miss Blanche, I know. You just rest easy. Yeah. Told you, someone's gonna die. They just didn't love you. You know that? They just didn't love you enough. I wonder if her downfall had anything to do with, you know, her losing her dad. I'm pretty sure that had something to do with it, you know? What am I going to do? <laughs> She's giving a masterclass in acting for us in this movie, you know? Everyone's really good, you know? But I mean, seriously, how amazing is this woman? Yeah, I'm a total fan. You know? This is the second movie uh, of her that I'm seeing, and, uh, I'm just mesmerized again. Also, this is very much a film noir, you know? The aesthetic and everything. Just after one of those studio parties and right in front of her own house, Jane Hudson drove a car straight at her own sister and crippled her for life. Oh, come on, that. you mean she tried to kill her? Yes, she yeah. did. She tried to murder her own sister. Yeah. She ran off and disappeared for three old days. Oh, what happened then? Don't tell me they couldn't find her. Oh, they found her all right. They found her all right. They found her in, in some hotel room with a man that she'd never even seen before. Well, why should that upset you? Isn't that how I was conceived? Whoa, brutal. Oh. That, that, that's what we'll do. We, we, we'll just go away. Oh, but then I wouldn't see Edwin anymore. He wouldn't like what I did. It wasn't my fault, but he wouldn't like... Of course what it was your fault. The heck are you talking about? You know, I always wanted everything to be nice, don't you? I don't see how Elvira could make me do a thing like that. Mm. I just don't understand. Well, you stamped. It was like that time in the hotel room when they came and told me that you were hurting and that I'd done it. I couldn't do a thing like that. Not to my own sister. Oh, she she is completely wow. Jane. She's not only psychotic, but she's also like crazy. The accident. It, yeah? It, no, it wasn't an accident. I did it. You told me so yourself. I am I must tell you. I don't want to talk about it! I'd be dancing on the sand. And all the people would come and watch. All crowd around to see baby Jane Hudson. The lighting in the movie got darker and darker as the story became darker and darker. What do I do? How nice is that? Oh, what was that? Nothing. No, nothing. I, I didn't do anything. Oh, Edwin. 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 Yeah, good luck like stopping the. 200 pound of flesh. Don't take you away from me. 300. Please. Help me. He's way too drunk. He's dying. Get away from me! 
you've got to, to help me. We, we've got to leave. <laughs> Deja vu. She's done this before. Gorgeous. Beautiful, gorgeous shot. Yeah, this is very much a film noir, but uh Yeah, it's first and foremost a thriller. I mean, they kinda go hand in hand, right? But Hudson May found the adventurous suburb. It is believed that Blanche Hudson, film great of the early 30s, hey, has been forcibly abducted Get by her sister, there. former child star baby Jane Hudson, from the family home on North McCadden in Hollywood, sometime between the hours of 10 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. last evening. Yeah. Heading west on Wiltshire in Santa Monica, no report has been received to date concerning the missing sisters. The following is... A uh, she's literally like on the beach. You reckon you'll ever find that baby Jane or whatever her name is? Sure, we'll find her. But I guess maybe it'll be too late. <laughs> She's literally right there. Oh, officer. There's a car down there parked right out in the road. I almost got stuck in the sand when I tried to get around it. This is it. If I die, you'll be alone. But they be mean to me like they were before. I hope you kind. Yeah, she's acting like a child now. I make you waste your whole life thinking you'd crippled me. Please stop. Oh, she didn't. You didn't do it, Jane. I did it myself. What? I crippled myself. You weren't driving that night. Then who was? You were too drunk. I wouldn't let you drive. Okay. I made you go open the gates. I watched you get out of the car. What? I watched you get out of the car. I wanted to run you down. Holy crap. I hit the gates. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What do you mean? All this time we could have been friends. That is so sad. I managed to crawl out of the car up to the gates. Huh. When they found me, they assumed it was your fault. So Jane was not innocent at all. You weren't ugly then. I made you that way. I even did that. Yeah, it makes kind of sense if I look back at the beginning of the movie. You know, like she was like, I'm going to make sure that they're not going to forget or something along the lines. That's what she said. Oh, people are gathering around her at the beach, just like when she was little. She's going to dance. Yeah. Freaking tragic. Yeah. This movie is a tragedy, you know? Like, seriously. Yeah, there's Blanche. Good luck. Good job, you found Blanche. Yeah, that's the end. Well, guys, this was Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Well, this was incredible. This was incredible. It was so tragic. I did not expect this movie to get so tragic by the end, you know? I really enjoyed the suspense and just the tension that was in this movie. I really enjoyed the performances. And once again, Betty Davis, seriously, Betty Davis. I mean, I rarely see such a high caliber of an actor or an actress as she was, you know? She was just absolutely mesmerizing. I mean, her as a casting choice in this movie, I cannot think of anyone else you know like the casting is just on point in this movie seriously I mean how amazing she was you know when I saw all about Eve I was like oh my god this woman is absolutely incredible you know I think maybe she was even better in this which is pretty much 
unimaginable, but yet it's kind of true. I mean, she just blew me away again. So I'm definitely going to watch some more Betty Davis movies on this channel. Yeah, this is a really, really good movie. I mean, this is two hours and 13 minutes long and it definitely doesn't feel like that. You know, the writing is really, really good. The directing is also really, really good. I think filming this movie in black and white really helped with the atmosphere. No complaints about this movie at all. I'm pretty much, I don't know, I pretty much enjoyed every minute of it. So that's good, you know? Guys, thank you so much for recommending this movie and also for watching this movie together with me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe and see you next time in the cinema. Bye.